Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about one more package, Notify. First of all, I'm going to show you what is Notify and why we should use this package. Notify package provide notification features to us so we can display custom notifications in our applications like that. Lots of time we need to display notifications in our applications and that time this package is very useful and we can install this package through the composer one command given here so i'm going to install through this command so let's open and just paste this command into the terminal composer require laravel dash notify so See here, it's installed successfully in this application, generating optimized auto load files. Let me show you into the composer.json file and you can see it's added in require object and also composer.log file updated. Now let's wait, it's installed successfully. We need to do second step, register the service provider, but I'm using Laravel 10, so no need to do this step, I can skip it. But if you want to use this package lower than 5.5, then you need to do this compulsory. And next step is publish the config file. So I'm going to fire this command and let's remove this dollar sign because command goes fail and now see this message notify.php publish inside the config directory so let me show you see here times given time out so after this time notification automatically disappear from this screen and preset message type model and title everything so this is small configuration you can set it and let's do composer dump autoload this command already done when package is installed but let's do again because it's given into the documentation so we should do that now next thing is we can add style at the rate notify css at the rate notify js into the our main directory and our file so i'm going to add this let me show you example here see it's added in header part and added bottom before closing the body js js edit before close the body tag so let's add same in my welcome page which is currently running so let's add this here and same thing before closing the body and also we need to add this component because this component showing the notifications x notify colon colon this is the component which is provided by the package and then we can show the errors and this package provides us five types of notifications toast connectify darkify simplify and emotify so let's see one by one examples and 
see how it looks like so i'm going to open web.php because welcome page is written from this so let's remove this notify success and and let's refresh this page and you can see success welcome to laravel notify same you can show error with this error function and just refresh now it's in error format if you want to show in warning format you just need to change the method and just see it's now in warning format and it's automatically disappear after his timeout so this package provide good ui and notification we just need to write one line so code is neat and clean and you can easily implement you can easily use it so this one is notify now let's see connectify so copy this and put this help function here and let's refresh and see the output see you can see connection icon in this connectify method right now it's success you can specify method here error and connection failed let's see output see now connection failed and you can see error so this is connectify second one is darkify so let's see this method and try to see the output see success this is darkify method and simplify so let's use this and put it here you are successfully recommended save and just refresh and see it's simple notification without any other design so let's see with this error type refresh and you can see it's simple next one is emotify so let's copy this and paste it here and and see emotify means this notification with emoji like that it's success let's see with the error So we see all kind of notification five types of notification provided by this package so code is very simple neat and clean you can use easily you can install easily and use in your application anytime so and also it's globally so you can just put these things in your master page then you no need to do in any other pages so use this package and enjoy it thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel